Our nation faces grave threats abroad and a challenging fiscal situation at home. Given these dual pressures, rebuilding the military and reforming the way the Pentagon does business must go hand in hand. As Defense Secretary James Mattis said, the heart of our competitive edge is reforming the department and gaining full value from every taxpayer dollar. We've all followed the recently publicized Defense Logistics Agency audit finding of nearly a billion dollars in inaccuracies. As the department-wide audit continues, there'll surely be some more painful findings. But this shouldn't deter our efforts. That's the purpose of an audit, to find things that need to be corrected and to save money by correcting them. Uh, we know a successful Pentagon audit will take time. It'll also require sustained congressional oversight and a renewed commitment to accountability at the department. Checking the box by completing the audit is not enough. The goal must be improved financial management and business operations. The audit will empower managers to make better decisions with more accurate financial reporting systems and data. For our troops, it will be better decision making and that will mean more money for critical equipment and training. Gaining insight into which problems the Pentagon is fixing and why will motivate Congress to continue supporting the audit. Ultimately, reforming the Pentagon requires more than an audit. Defense spending is now higher than at the height of Ronald Reagan's presidency. But we aren't seeing the same value for each defense dollar spent today. Ineffective business processes may be a big reason. The Pentagon will never operate like a business, but it still must reform its business operations. Uh, managing the Pentagon is a difficult task, but it is crucial to our nation's defense and to ensuring that we spend America's tax dollars wisely.